John Darrow, and I have the best job in the United States, and certainly in New York, as president of the James Beard Foundation. And I want to welcome you to wonderful Wolfer Estate Vineyards, to today's special Chefs and Champagne. You know, for over 20 years now, we have been honoring the best of the best in our culinary industry. People from Julia Child and Jacques LePen, Wolfgang Puck and Martha Stewart just last year. And it's especially exciting today to be celebrating one of America's favorite chefs, Emeril Lagasse. Emeril, would you come join me on the stage? So I am here in the Hamptons at Chefs and Champagne with none other than Emeril Lagasse, who started with how to boil water. I remember watching you make hamburgers and learning the tricks of the trade. And then Emeril Live. So how do you start and well, how to go? I never really... Uh expected to happen what happened. Uh, I never expected to really do how to boil water. Um, after I did the first series, uh, the president at the time, Reese Schoenfeld, called me and he said, look, I got good news and bad news. Good news is that you probably should do more television because you're not bad at it. The, uh, the bad news is this, you're overqualified for how to boil water. So. Uh, you're going to have to find a new gig. How does it feel to be honored by your peers? I mean, folks that you had looked up to maybe as you were a young chef, and how, did, how does that feel today? I mean, it's, I've been involved with the Beard Foundation for a long time and uh, have done a lot of dinners at the Beard House and other chefs' restaurants, my own restaurants, uh, seeing uh, young talent evolve and to prosper. Um, to me, uh, you know, it's a, it's a great honor to not only be honored by peers, but uh, people that have been honored in the past, Daniel Ballou, Martha Stewart, Wolfgang Puck, I could go on and on and on. Um, you know, those are some, uh, some pretty serious names in the, in the industry. So I'm, I'm delighted to be here, and uh, I'm looking forward to the event. All right, so tell me one last thing, because I know you've got, well, there's a lot of tasting to do today. Yes. Talking about food now. When you are at home and the chef's jacket comes off, because I assume you don't wear that in your own kitchen, no. what is your go-to thing to whip together that's just, it's a long day, I need to make, I want, what is that? If it's not some sort of quick pasta of fresh ingredients that I have around, uh, if it's a planned staple, there's nothing better than a perfect roast chicken. So hi Susan, thanks for having us tonight here at Chefs and Champagne. How are you? Tell me about the event. Uh, we're so excited to be here again. It's going to be our 20th year doing Chefs and Champagne here. And we're of course at beautiful Wolfer Estate celebrating a fantastic honoree in, in Emeril Lagasse. You know, our history really is celebrating the best of the best in the food industry. You know, people like Julia Child, Jacques Papin, Wolfgang Puck, last year Martha Stewart. But today is really special because Emeril is such a special man. You know, America loves him. He's the chef that really, I think, made Food Network. And I think he's the chef that people learn to really cook from. You know, he's, you know, if James Beard was the godfather of American cuisine, we think Emeril is the godfather of big taste. Well, what are the highlights of tonight? Oh, well, first of all, this we have over 900 people coming. We have 42 chefs doing tastings. Uh, today, we will probably um, raise over oh a quarter million dollars for the foundation. We'll be announcing scholarships, a Christian Wolfer scholarship for the uh, sixth time here, in you know, in honor of the late Christian Wolfer. And we'll also be presenting other scholarships, which are really the hallmark of the foundation. Since 1991, we've awarded over 3.8 million in financial aid. So we're really very proud of that fact. Um, this is really one of our major fundraisers of the year. Our other is the Oscars of the food industry, the James Beard Awards. And uh, uh, we have chefs here, James Beard Award winners like Michelle Richard and Daniel Ballou. Uh, we have you know, great chefs who've cooked at the Beard House, George Mendes, who's also appeared on television. We have wonderful uh, Missy Robbins of Avoce. Uh, we have just you know, an incredible array of chefs who are, I think, going to just put their, their all into you know, making this a very special night. So we're here with James Carpenter of Care of the Living Room at the Maidstone. James, what did you make tonight, Chef? A beautiful Swedish toast skagen. It's a little baby shrimp salad with creme fraiche and dill and topped with a little caviar. Right. So what brought you to the event tonight? Beyond the fact that you wanted to meet Emeril because you've loved him forever, everyone says that. What's, what's got you here? Um, well, we're one of the few restaurants that are out here on the East End. We're located in East Hampton at the Maidstone. Um, I know Roman, he's part of the Wolford, he makes all the wine here, and uh, I'm a big fan and member of the James Beard Foundation. 
Oh, I've been, I used to live in New York. I actually had a restaurant on Fire Island for years in Kismet Inn. Uh, I grew up in New York, but a very good friend of mine's on the board. Somehow he got me invited. I'm very excited. I'm here with some of the most amazing chefs in the country, and this is amazing. This is a big deal for me. I don't know about anybody else, but for me, this is a big deal. So, Marcus Samuelson, you are out here in the Hamptons again. You, yes. You are here all the time now. We no, love having you here. Just a couple of times every summer, but I really enjoy it. You know, what could be better? Winery, great weather, great crowd. So, I love it out here. What inspires you out here? Do you get inspired in the Hamptons? Well, because well, it's completely opposite from the city, right? You have the beach, you have the winery, and those are things we can't just get in the city. But, you know, it's both. I love the urban environment in the city, and I love coming out here, too. But, and you know what? My crowd is out here on the weekends and comes back into the city, so it's important for me to be here. So what's it like being a top chef? Do you still get Correct. questions about it? You have a lot of fun with that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, tonight we're going to celebrate a top chef, Emeril, you know, one of the chefs that really started all this. I feel like what could be better with the Jan Beer Foundation that gives out great scholarship, done so much for our industry, and with a great friend like Emeril Lagasse. So see all my fellow chefs, this is going to be great. What do you have to say about your friend Emeril? Emeril, colleagues... Tonight he's being Emerald honored. Is a living legend is uh, bigger than life. I know him all for maybe 20. We know each other for 25, 30. Since I moved to America, I uh, met him all uh, early in my early days when I was at the uh, Plaza Atene, but also at La Cirque when I was at La Cirque in New York. And he used to come with Charlie Trotter. The two of them was inseparable. After a quick chat with all these chefs and so much delicious food, now it is definitely time to quench my palate a little bit and enjoy a little champagne. Let's go see what the folks at Wolfer and Nicolas Foulet have in store for us tonight. We're at the wine table now with Roman Roth of Wolfer Estate. How are you? Are you having fun tonight? Well, perfect day again for chefs and champagne. It's a good day to be a grape today. And it's great for us to have all the people here enjoying wine and good company. Why every year? Why is this such a great, one of those key events at the Hamptons each season? The first goal in my winemaking is to make food friendly wines. And certainly Long Island, the style with the ocean breeze gives us a wine which has acidity and has liveliness and esprit. And that makes food friendly wines. And that's the first important thing. And no better place to show our wines than with all these fantastic chefs. So it's perfect for a great combination, great wine and great food. Happy to be here, enjoying the food and the wine. <laughs> it's all very, very nice. So what's going on in the restaurant? What brought you out tonight? You know what? This event, we've been at it in the past, and we think it's very important to support it. Local wineries, uh, I think, are very, very important. And then it's just a fun, you know, a fun evening out. Great people, you don't catch up to everybody, and this is the place to do it with food and fun. When we shot our television show that was on for eight years, one of the best things that was ever made on the show that the crew loved, B and Emerald made a, a chocolate, chocolate bread pudding. Oh, simply wonderful. And so, you know, and he was, you know, big chef, superstar in the culinary world, but never with an ego. And I never forgot that because. My wife's not a chef, but what she is is a great cook and a tremendous personality. And he never ever was one of those chefs that disrespects someone because they're not culinary trained. Because the best cooks are the people that cook every day, in every way, at home. And he understands that, and that's what we love about Emerald. Hey, let's drink to that. Cheers. Okay. Cheers to Emerald. And Martha, obviously a big fan of Emerald. You were a winner last year. You were honored last year. I with was. This award. And I want to say congratulations to Emeril Lagasse, my friend, my partner. And it's uh, phenomenal that he's honored this year. And it's a wonderful turnout, even, even despite the heat. To Emeril. <laughs> Emeril, king of the Orleans. Another very delicious night here at the James Beardus Foundation Chefs and Champagne at Wolfer Estate Vineyards. Congratulations to Emeril Lagasse, the evening's honoree. We saw Richard Gere tonight, B. Smith, so many wonderful Hamptons names, and then some. We've eaten our way through the tent and even taken a champagne class. If you missed it this year, make sure you come next year. And double check Hamptons.com's calendar of events, and of course the photo gallery to see who we saw and to know where to go next time. I'm Nicole Brewer, your host. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time, out and about.